Hi guys, this is Rahul here from myview.rahulnavi.net which is my blog and in this particular uh, video I am going to talk to you about uh, the complete reference of microservices learning series which is my new learning series entirely based on clean architecture and uh, how to create microservices using the pattern clean architecture itself. Now this series is divided into six different parts and that the very first is obviously getting started with microservices using clean architecture where you will be creating all these microservices uh, about uh, and then uh, we'll be having this uh, API gateway implementation and this RabbitMQ implementation as well. Then we are going to secure this microservices using identity server for which you can see here there's a box sitting over here and how this token is getting exchanged. So all the best practices are already included in this particular series so you just need to just check this out about the content of that. Now then we are going to switch the gears and implement cross cutting concerns wherein we will be implementing seri logger and uh, that ELK stack just to uh, you know centralize the logging structure. You know in microservices logging is pretty important to trace back like where exactly error has occurred. Then we are going to you know version our microservices uh, wherein uh, the same API is going to serve multiple versions so that we can onboard multiple clients with the different flavors of the same API. Then in, in order to get this, uh, you know, on that complete end to end uh, flavor, we are going to introduce this Angular app, which is going to be a spa framework for this based out on Angular 15 edition itself. Now, this is going to consume all these microservices via this API gateway itself. And that is going to give you the glimpse of that entire infrastructure hierarchy. Now, in order to give you that complete boost of that, so in order to complete the end to end journey, we are going to put all these assets onto that uh, AKS itself uh, on Azure itself rather uh, Azure Kubernetes service using Helm charts and then we are going also going to enable service mesh using you know STO pattern itself which is going to have this sidecar pattern enabled as well. So there is plethora of things which is going to you know introduced in this particular course and that's why I am just introducing via this readme file because as you can uh, you know once you get into this particular link Rahul Sai 19 slash eShopping you will get to see this entire stuff which I am talking right now. So you see this these are the things which we are going to cover in this particular uh, entire learning series wherein this is the you know solution structure of your e-shopping solution as I said like this, this is entirely uh, based out on the clean architecture on all the patterns and practices are followed discount API is obviously based on the gRPC platform just to give you a gist of that how gRPC works under the hood this is your angular structure like how your angular app is going to look alike and then we have this deployments section wherein every microservices is bundled under helm chart itself then we have the flow of this and this is the interesting bit wherein uh, this is explaining what are the technologies used inside this and this is going to give you a complete glimpse of that like what are the things which you guys will be implementing right from the blank slate here and this is the workflow of the application like how it is going to look like once it is done this is the angular app which you will be you know integrating with the identity server and um, then it is going to cover this purpose pattern container management via portainer you will be seeing live all these things so i hope you are going to uh, like these things in detail like because this is a pretty detailed uh, documentation which you can see here uh, like all cube lanes as uh, uh, stuffs are mentioned here like replica set config maps secrets everything you will be uh, creating then how you are going to enable this istio all this via cube lanes is also explained here now this is the service mesh part wherein kiali dashboard will give you the glimpse of your all workloads plus Grafana visualization is going to talk about that uh, like how your application is working. So see you on that the other side. Happy coding.